Mary Poppins Returns hits theaters this Christmas season. We're here now with Emily Mortimer, Mortimer who plays little Jane Banks from the original, now all grown up. Let's take a look. I honestly can't remember why we kept most of this stuff to begin with. I mean, why on earth did we save this old broken thing? Don't you remember that kite? We used to love flying that with mother and father. Well, it won't fly anymore. Out it goes. No looking back. I can imagine. What a great phone call that must be. Do you want to be in Mary Poppins? Oh my goodness, it's the best. I mean, Mary Poppins is all of our childhoods and meant, meant such a lot to every single person I've ever met saw Mary Poppins as a kid, including my own mother and my own children now. And, and it was a huge deal in their lives. So to, to be able to be part of the sequel was just an amazing honor. So I read that you're afraid of heights. <laughs> yes. Don't like to sing in public. No. no. So, you did, so you decided to sing suspended in the air in this yes, movie. I was singing while suspended <laughs> like 50 feet above London on a rope. And um, it was all acting. I look very happy, but I'm actually completely miserable at that moment. <laughs> Paul Lin-Manuel Miranda has to hold my hand throughout that scene, and I just had the sweatiest palms. It was but very he held embarrassing. On to you, right? He held on, and he was acting too. He was acting that he was enjoying holding my hand. <laughs> Not only in Lin Manuel Miranda, but you also got to meet Dick Van Dyke. Yes, age 91. He's now 92, and he arrived on the set, all 91 years of him, and bounded up onto a desk and did a tap dance, and then sat down behind the desk and delivered the most impeccable monologue and made everybody cry. Rob Marshall, the director, was crying so much he couldn't he couldn't call cut. Someone else <laughs> had to say such cut. Such a talented man. <laughs> yeah. well, what is it you hope people get out of the sequel? I think that, you know, Mary Poppins returns to the grown-up Jane and Michael Banks um, in this movie. It's 30 years on or 20 years, 25 years on from the original. And I think it's, it's showing that we need, we need Mary Poppins in our lives just as much as grown-ups, if not more than we ever did as children. We need to rediscover the sense of wonder that, that a child has. I cannot wait to rediscover it with my children. Uh, you got to bring your son, Sam. My Is son, your yes. to the premiere? Yes, he came to Los Angeles with me to the, to the premiere. He's 15 and very cool and discerning and a big film buff. Um, and he completely lost his cool all through the movie. He kept <laughs> grabbing my arm and saying, Mom, this is amazing. This is just so great. That's got to be the best review you could ask it for. It really was. It really was. Yeah, I was, I was frightened he, he, he would be too cool for it. But no, he's totally not. He loved it. Well, we cannot wait to see it. Thank you for coming in this morning. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Mary Poppins returns hits theaters on December 19th.